Yes. Yeah. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm always clapping every time I start a podcast. Um, podcast number seven, I think. Sometimes, you know, I forget the numbers, but every time I push record, I remember them. So I guess I always remember them. So who gives a fuck? Okay. Um, <coughs> welcome, you beautiful people. I'm so glad that you came back. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me tell you how my day going so far. Uh, well, what I'm doing for my day. Um, I just got done working out, you know. It was a good workout. Today was a really good workout, you know. And, like, usually most of the time when I work out, I fast. And, well, I did also fast today. Like, I work out on an empty stomach. And, um, I don't know. I wouldn't even say that I run out of energy, like, when I'm done with the workout. But it's like, for some reason today, I feel like I had more energy, you know. Because first, I do, I lift weights, whatever, you know, I'm from doing arms, you know, legs, back, shoulders, biceps, whatever, yeah. And um, I did a whole bunch of lifting, you know, I did a whole bunch of my lifts on my upper body and stuff. And um, then I did some weighted on, on abs, on the core, and then I did core on the ground body weight. But then I ran, I ran like a mile, but then I walked and I inclined the, um, the treadmill like to like seven, so that, <laughs> that motherfucker was up, you know. If I would have went any higher, I would have been walking to heaven. I would have said, hey, I would have saw somebody up in that, okay? But, yeah, I did a couple walking. I mean, a couple walking? What, what, what does that even mean? But I did some walking. But people always say that walking is better than running. But I try to implement both of them into my routine. That's what I try to do. They'd be like, hey, you need to get 10,000 steps a day. And not everybody can get 10,000 steps in a day. I'll be honest with you. The steps I'm on, I'm on 5,562. That's those are the steps I see on my um on my Fitbit. Y'all probably y'all can't even see it. Who fucking cares? But yeah, that's how many steps I'm going. But I feel good leaving. But then um I think it's called um what's the name of that service? But the manager of or whatever, I don't know, the lady who runs this place, she uh I, I was walking out in the gym. Okay, the lady's white, all right? And she had a black little baby in her hand, like, holding the black little baby. I was like, okay, what's happening there? Then, I mean, I ain't say anything that I was going to go walk out to, you know, come back here and film this podcast for you beautiful people. But then she stopped me. She was like, uh, do you know who kid this is? I was like, no. She said, oh, it was like close, uh, this kid was like close by your place. It was just walking around, the kid. And I was like, no, I don't know who the kid is. So, um... There's a fucking kid just walking all over the place. And somebody, a parent, somebody's probably freaking out right now. and don't know where the kid at. I mean, I hope they got that solved. But yeah, little black little baby on a, with a diaper on just walking around, the, you know, the complex, you know. But um, they better hurry up before they probably call DHS. That's what they probably, I think, is that the name of the service when they come get your kids and shit? Something like that. Um, But yeah, that's how it went. Then I ate. Okay, hey, your boy, your boy snapped on the cooking. I mean, even though you know I cook the same, <laughs> I cook the same shit every day. But what I'm trying to say is eggs. I always got eggs in my diet. I don't get tired of eating eggs. I could probably eat eggs every day, year round. You know, and my cholesterol ain't gonna get high. So fuck you, all right, buddy. I probably eat like two to three eggs every day. You know, and sunny side. I, it's always sunny side. I don't know the last time if I had scrambled eggs, I didn't make the eggs. All right, every time I have eggs, it's sunny side up. You know, I ain't mean to get aggressive on you. You want to kiss, I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I ain't mean to go aggressive on you. But sunny side is the way. My sister changed my life. Y'all probably, I probably told this story multiple times, but I'm going to say it again. God damn it. All right, I walked in the kitchen, okay, and my sister, she was cooking some eggs. And I was like, yo, what are you doing? Like, that shit look nasty. Like, that's the, the hey, I can't believe <laughs> past Malcolm, you know. Said that. What what what's the um what's the say? Don't knock it before you try it, some shit like that. Then she was like, No, it's good. Then I was like, Alright, I'll try. And I made that shit. Oh my god. The yolk was runny. It was just right. If y'all had if y'all had me on Instagram, that's all I would post. When the yolk was runny, I would split it and I'll bust a nut. I mean I wasn't busting the nut. Speaking of busting nuts, we'll go to that out there. But the yolk would run down. You know, I'll make like a sandwich, sunny side sandwich, split that motherfucker, that yolk would run down. Oh my god, you stop, Mike. Oh no. But then I had some Brussels sprouts also, you know. I'm not the biggest fan of Brussels sprouts, but I don't hate them. Okay? 
You know, I would choose a different vegetable over a Brussels sprout, but, I, you know, I'll eat some Brussels sprouts. I can't eat a fucking plain Brussels sprouts like Jesus Christ. Are you mad? Like, are you mad? I had to throw some teriyaki sauce on it to, you know, if Gordon Ramsay was up here, he would have cussed my ass out just doing that, all right? I should have seasoned it, but I throw, it was all right, you know? If I can grade it down the rating on a Brussels sprout, that motherfucker's about a five, and that's being generous, you know? No, fuck it. We're going to make it a four. But, like, a four is not hating it. Hating it is a three. Four is, like, nah. Nah. Like, if I had another choice or another decision, I would choose other decision instead of that one. But there was frozen Brussels sprouts, so I fucked it up. And there was some tur turkey. Was it turkey or ham? It was ham. And I messed that up. Then I had this coffee. Shout out to Joe Rogan. But it's not Joe Rogan's coffee, though. Um, He had the surfer guy, the turmeric, turmeric coffee creamer. Mm. Damn that shit. Bro, I bought that like in August or September and I still got it. I mean, it's not a lot left, but it's a good amount. And I still got that, bro. It's that because like, it's like every time he had, Joe Rogan has like a guest on the on his podcast and they're drinking that coffee. They're like, man, this stuff is good. What is this? And I'm like, damn, I need to try this because is it that good? And it is that good. <laughs> it really is good. Uh, I don't know the benefits of turmeric, 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 turmeric. I can't speak. Turmeric, I think that's how you say it. Turmeric, hey, we out here done no, hey, stop me. But that's pretty good. I like that shit. But then I throw some vanilla cream. I usually don't throw like a bunch of creams in my coffee, but um, I did it today. You know, I throw some vanilla, French vanilla creamer in that motherfucker. The turmeric, I can't say it right. I can't say it right. I say it like one time. And yeah, but usually I drink my coffee black. But today, you know, hey, I'm burning a whole bunch of energy, and I just wanna, you know. I want to get my daily dose of sugar, you know? Not like, not unhealthy sugar. I mean, well, I guess the coffee cream, but who gives a fuck, okay? You only live once. It's not like, you know, I'm drinking the whole coffee cream out the goddamn bottle, all right? I only put a little bit, you know? Don't stone me, okay? What was those? Oh, plus it busting nuts. Um, <laughs> yo. I had a wet dream last night. I had a wet dream. Um, um. Can you speak this for me, computer? Wet dream. Hold on. I need you to uh, boost that up. Wet dream. Wet dream. Yeah, I had a wet dream last night. And I... I can tell you what went down in the story. I mean, not the story, the dream. I'm not... I feel indifferent about the dream, okay? Let me say that because... <laughs> I don't want to put this in the wrong way. I don't want to get canceled. You know, but I don't give a fuck. You know, you can't cancel me because it was a dream. So what the fuck are you going to do? You going to sue me? Okay. But um, I was at my dad's place and I was playing like Apex Legends. You know, the the game, the glorious game on season one. But then the shit flopped and it went downhill. Everybody talking about Fortnite killer. Fortnite killer. Apex, Apex Legends going to kill Fortnite. No, it didn't. But faith. Fortnite is oversaturated. We can talk about that another day, too. <laughs> we can, I mean, we can talk about that, uh, you know, down the line, all right? But Apex Legends, you know, I'm going to get on this, but then I'm going to go. I'm gonna, it, it has to do somewhat with a dream, okay? And I guess at this moment, I mean, I know what I knew. I didn't, it wasn't a lucid dream. I only had, like, one lucid dream that, like, I can, like, like, one lucid dream that I could control, like, like, Fucking everything, bro. It was insane, bro. Lucid dreams were wavy, bro. I need. I wish I can have those bitches every night. You know, if if a lucid dream is life after death, then I want that. You know, that's my fantasy because if, with my mind, I could create anything. And it was. I, I can get to that too, yo. Dreams are wild, bro. And it's crazy how they say that we have dreams every night, but we don't remember dog shit. <laughs> like you, like you go to sleep, you wake up. And you, let's say you went to sleep for like, I don't know, seven hours. And the bitch felt like three hours. And it was like, I don't know, pitch black for three hours. And you wake up, but you feel refreshed, but you don't remember any dream. Like, can y'all relate to that? Like, I feel that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? But going back to the uh, Apex Legends. I guess at this point, well, I didn't know it was a dream. But like, I was playing like PVE. Like, you know, was it PVE? Yeah, PVE. Um, how, What is it? Person versus everywhere or everybody? Oh, I think it's I think it's everywhere. Oh, the player versus environment. You dumb fuck. Player versus environment. And um, yeah, I was like playing like multiplayer and like 
I don't know, bro. Was it even Apex Legends at this point? But it was like a PvE game, a mode on Apex Legends. And uh, we were like shooting some fucking... It was like some Monster Hunter, Hunter shit. It was actually clean, you know? Like, if I can interpret that and like make that in my video game, I wouldn't be mad at it. Because those monsters I was fighting, that shit was intense. I mean, I won. But then after I got done playing, um, there was this... Um, let's say that there was this... This big, big glorious, um, big, how they say, big beautiful um, women, BBs. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't that big, but she was hefty. Let's say that she was hefty. Hefty, um, African, dark skin, um, lady, okay. And, um, yeah. My lips fucking chat. God. She walked in my room and she started sucky sucky. She suka la mink. Shout out to Joe Diaz. She suka la mink. And uh, I put my Mika juice on her face. I facial her. Uh, that may be a little too vivid, but as soon as I nut, I woke up. <laughs> like I hit her face and I woke up, you know? It, yeah, that, 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 that's the story. And I woke up and I, I put my hands in my, in my underwears because I, I sleep in my underwears. If you don't know, you know just underwears because it feels good. And um, I was like, fuck! And I said that because that yeah, fucking nut all over me, bro. <sighs> but it was tremendous, though. Like, the release, it was tremendous. Let me just say that, okay? Like, I was like, ah! Then I woke up, like, ah! Like, in real life. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say, ah! But, like, if I did say something, it was like, ah! It was that, okay? But, um, yeah, that's, that was the wet dream. But the only thing that happened was, yeah, she blew me, and, um... What? Yeah. A titty fuck, you know? Yeah. That's about it. Okay? That, that's the dream. Then I woke up. Then I had to change a new thing of underwears. And throw some new ones on. Then I... I, I, shit, I slept like shit last night, too. I mean, I got like six hours in like... I mean, the app that like tracks my sleep with this. It said I had six hours and 38 minutes. But honestly, I don't know how accurate like these, these fucking trackers are, you know? Let me stop playing with this key before somebody... <coughs> Bust the eardrums. Speaking of eardrums, um, I was eating like just now, and a fucking giant thing of earwax fell out my ear. Like, does that happen to y'all? Earwax falls out. Like, I don't use Q-tips at all, but like my ear is not dirty. Like, I clean my ears like when I'm like showering and stuff. Like, I you know clean it with my finger and shit. Like, I mean, it's better than like you know stuffing it in your ear. But yeah, that's how I clean it and probably like put some soap in there and clean it off and stuff. But a giant thing, it's probably, I think it's because I have my earbuds in. And I, I had them bitches. <laughs> I mean, when I be working out, those things be blasting, bro. Let me just say that. But then like, when I cool down, I'll be like, damn, this shit too loud. Let me turn this down. And I was running, like I was running hard on that treadmill. So maybe it's the mix of both of those and like a giant fucking thing earwax came out. It was like some clay type shit, bro. I was like, fuck. But, um, yeah, that happened. It was pretty, um, vivid, if I so say, say so myself. And, um, uh, oh, man, another thing. That, what, what did I recover? I mean, just cover. Wet, I'm spinning all over the fucking place. Um, hold up. I'm looking at this wet dream stuff, but I don't know how that, notorological? No, that's not how you, that's not how you say it, Malcolm. That's not how, Notor not Tarnal, not Tarnal. Nocturnal emission. Nocturnal emission. Hold on. I'm not digging in my nose. I'm just, you know. And about, uh, fact about my, my face gets oily. Like, like a motherfucker. But I bought this, um, hey, shout out to Smile Direct. Hey, I was starting that Smile Direct stuff. You know, the Invisalign braces shit. Or not braces, whatever. Whatever you want, I don't know. Who gives a shit? Um, Yeah. I'm going to start that soon. They gave me like a five-month plan. I had braces in the past, and bra braces fucking suck. Braces suck. Braces suck. They, they really did suck. I always get shit stuck in your teeth and stuff. Then you got to... I, 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 <laughs> I, <try my, laughs> I treated my braces like dog shit. Let me just say that. No bitches broke. Man, and then, yeah, think about braces. The wire always be breaking. The brackets be fucking... Braces are a nuisance, dog. If I have a kid and they got fucked up teeth like me, I ain't giving them braces. I'm giving them bitches a Vizaline, okay? I mean, the thing I like teeth, 
overbite gap, but I don't know. At this point, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, but... Nocturnal. I was right. Nocturnal. Admission. That's what it said. I'm still talking about wet dreams, by the way. Um, nocturnal emission, informally known as a wet dream, a sex dream, or a sleep orgasm. It's a spontaneous or- orgasm during sleep that includes ejaculation for a male, or vaginal wetness, or an ag- or orgasm for a female. Uh. But yeah, that happened. Nocturnal emission. I had uh, all, all, all kinds of nocturnal emission last night. That shit. <laughs> and another thing, when I was doing that, um... The cold showers and no fab. Um, I fucking, <laughs> I had a wet dream and the challenge and stuff, and I guess I failed. <laughs> but it was a dream. I didn't even do anything, bro. Like, does that even count, man? It really doesn't, though, because it was a dream, bro. And I don't remember the dream, bro. It had to be good as hell, though. Know? I can, I can remember my um, wet. I'm, Short admission? I don't really know how long the first video was because I was recording that by my I, I got a call then the shit stopped because I'm recording on the phone. So what was I talking about? <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Um uh, because my mom called me. Um what was I talking I was talking about nocturnal admission. Okay, I'm t- I sound I'm, I need to stop saying that shit because you that shit. I'm trying to sound like I'm smart but I'm dumb as fuck. Uh <laughs> yeah, wet dreams. Uh I I can remember oh yeah, my first wet dream. I remember that. Um uh, it was like, it wasn't on some racist shit, okay? But it was like, <laughs> there was, okay, let's say there was these two uh, beautiful white women, okay? And I was a young black, well, I'm, I'm fucking me, all right? Then um, I guess, <laughs> I'm sorry, this shit's so funny. I guess... Where it was like back in the day when you know people were racist and stuff, but like the two women that I okay, it was a threesome, let me just say that. But um, it wasn't, um, they weren't racist or anything, but their dad was racist, I guess. I don't know, but they were like, oh, don't let daddy catch us, some shit. But we were like in the attic, then you know, things happen. Your boy, that was my first wet dream, all right. And then I woke up, and my all, all my wet dreams and when I, you know, ejaculate, you know. This may be too vivid for y'all, but I don't give a fuck. I'm, hey, I'm being 100% with y'all. Y'all probably gonna have a wet dream in y'all life, too. I say, wet dream, it's like, it's a whole nother experience. That shit's intense, because I don't know, it's like a fantasy. Like, just, you know, the dream that you have. But yeah, that was my first wet dream. But fuck, I forgot what else I was gonna talk about. God, I lost my train of thought, bro. That, oh, oh my gosh, that call just threw me off. I just, I had so many things I was gonna talk about. Um... <clears throat> I mean, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, I mean, I know what I could talk about, but I want to say that for later. I don't want to talk about that right now. But, um, oh yeah, this one, Mac Miller. Mac Miller. Mac Miller is gonna release a new album called Circles on the Seventeenth. I think. Let me search this up real quick. The Seventeenth. Circles. Circles release date. I mean, on the, not on the release. Fucking release date. Release day. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the 17th. Yep, it's the 17th. <clears throat> Mac Miller passed away about like a year, a couple months ago. If I, I think, I think, I think so. And um, I remember, I still remember the day, bro. I was, my ass was crying like a motherfucking dog. Cause Mac Miller is like one of my favorite rappers. I mean, he is one of my favorite rappers still to this day. And um. I don't know, the one thing that pissed me off the most about that whole situation is when all those fucking articles came out, and they were talking about, oh, Ariana Grande's ex-boyfriend died. I was like, what the fuck? Like, there were so many articles saying, I was like, my nigga, he was his own person. This man does not identify as Ariana Grande's ex-boyfriend. Like, What? Like, that shit was so dumb, bro. Like, that was so dumb. Like, this man has a name, bro. This man has a name. But, how old was he? I think he's 27 or 26. And, um, yeah, that shit. And, like, his album Swimming came out. Man, that album so... That's my favorite Mac Miller album to this day, bro. Fuck. Man, I also like watching movies um, with the sound off. But, shit, I think that's the name of the album. Oh, don't don't stomp me if I got it wrong. It's been so long. But, um, yeah, man, so is such a good album. Then, okay, then the fucking Grammys. I don't know why people, 
<laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sounding like a hypocrite right now, but I had to get over it after this whole situation happened. But Nick, we can't be getting mad over the Grammys, Golden Globes, the Oscars, all that shit. Who gives a fuck? Who actually cares anymore? Do y'all actually care about those reward shows anymore? Like, I don't care about those award shows, award shows, man. They're dumb, bro. They're really so dumb, bro. It doesn't even make any... Any award show nowadays, I don't even give a fuck about. As long as I know that the game was good, in my opinion, all right, cool. We good. We good. I don't give a fuck at that. Man, it's, it's so dumb, bro. I mean, everybody wants a validation, though, like, to know, like, everybody wants an achievement on the thing, but to me... Fuck an award, bro. You know, screw all those award shows, bro. I used to watch. I used to watch that shit all the time as a kid, bro. All the time. I don't know when's the last time I watched some shit. I can talk about another award. I've well, fucking like I said, hypocrite <laughs> in the making. I voted on um on the wait no. Let me continue on the Grammys. But Mac Miller, he had his album on the best rap album um of the year. Then like Cardi B was on there also, but Cardi B won. But I don't listen to Cardi B, so. I can't know how good the album ones, but I doubt it was, you know, better than fucking swimming. <laughs> I'm just being honest, bro. I, I doubt Cardi B. I mean, oh yeah, uh, another thing. Nicki Minaj is a better rapper than Cardi B, but they're both trash. Let me say that, okay? All right. I mean, Nicki Minaj had some hitters back in the day, but I think she retired. I think she retired because I don't know. She was causing like some. She was on some fuck shit, like talking about Travis Scott or some some shit like that. Talking about. Uh, I deserve more sales than him or something like that. I don't know. But yeah. I don't know how that album didn't win. Album of the year for that for rap. And then fucking Cardi B won. I mean, but that year Cardi B was blowing up and shit, but it's like, come on, man. I mean, I don't even want to say it. I'm not saying Mac Miller should win because he died. I'm not saying any any way like that, but fuck. I think he had a better album, in my opinion. Just saying. But who knows what's going to happen this year for the Grammys or next year, whatever the, whatever the fuck happens. But I don't know. He's probably going to get nominated again. Then who fuck? I don't know who's going to be in on. I don't know who's going to release albums of this shit this year. But I don't know. I like him to win. But it's like, who gives a fuck, though? Honestly, I don't even care who wins anymore. But talking about Crunchyroll and shit, I voted for the, um, the um, award show, you know. Of twenty, whatever the fuck, eighteen, or nineteen, I mean, and um, I think they hold a reward show like next month, but like most of it was fucking Demon Slayer. <laughs> like no shame to Demon Slayer at all. Demon Slayer is a good ass anime, bro. Like I remember, like I was on that, I was on that Demon Slayer shit before that shit got overhyped because it was that one episode. What was it? Episode eighteen. You know when um, Tanjiro and um. I forgot his fuck her fucking name. That Nancy Coe's fine old demon nigga with the uh, spider webs and shit. Then you know my boy Tundra hit that flame shit, chopped his head off, and then Nancy Coe hit him with that explosive blood shit. That was a good episode. I mean, don't even it was it's a good episode, but like that episode, then Demon Slayer just. I mean, even before that, Demon Slayer was catching the hype. But I was there before that hype shit came out. Like, on the website that I watched my anime on, like, I saw that, like, the day it came released, I was like, Demon Slayer. Then I saw the artwork, like, on the cover. I was like, okay, this shit look, like, the artwork looked nice. Then, like, the first episode was a hitter. Second episode, hitter. Then back to back to back to back, it's a hitter. Then I started reading. I'm reading the manga right now. Speaking of the manga, I'm looking at it right now. I'm on manga chapter 56 when they're on a train. <laughs> and they're making a movie. They're making a movie out of, like, the train scene shit. But I'm reading it right now because I'm a manga head. And, like, the main reason I read manga, but I ain't really reading manga. I found out about anime when I was reading. I mean, well, I guess you could say Pokemon. But I didn't know Pokemon was anime. I thought it was just a fucking cartoon. But uh, I found out about um, manga, anime, the whole industry and shit. And when um, I, I got introduced to manga, and that was on Naruto. So... At a, I, I was reading manga at like seven, eight, like at a young age. I was in elementary when I was reading manga for the first time, and it was so <laughs> because I'm American. We read what is it, right to left? And <laughs> I was, I that's not was it right to left? Yeah, right to left. But I was reading the wrong way because you know Japan's left to right and shit. I hope I'm saying that right, okay? But I was reading it the wrong way. I was reading it from the back of the book. <laughs> 
But then I was like, wait, what the fuck? None of this makes sense. And I was like, wait, this is the cover. <laughs> but that, I don't know. That's hilarious. It's a learning mistake. Um, but yeah, that's how I felt about manga. But I enjoy reading manga, though. You know? But then, I, I, you know, my favorite thing is, like, when I read manga, but then I see those scenes get um, implemented um, into the, um, the anime. And I'm like, bro, I be crying sometimes. I mean, I'm literally. But I mean, if the scene is good enough, I'd be like, fuck, bro. That shit good, bro. Like, I don't know. It, it, it happened with um many shows when I read the manga, then it gets into the anime. But um, what the fuck was I saying? Uh, Demon Slayer. Yeah, Demon Slayer. Um, Demon. I, like I said, I was there before the hype, and you know, Demon Slayer is going to win every um award for um <laughs> for the um, the anime of the year show, or whatever the fuck award show on Crunchyroll, and um. I mean, I, like I said, Demon Slayer is a good anime, but I can understand why people be like, well, you know when something gets too hype, then everybody's like, oh, you need to watch this. Oh, you need to listen to this song. Then that's like, okay, now I'm not going to listen to it because every nigga's talking about, oh, you should listen to this shit. I can feel that. I'll be the same way. I'll be the same way. But Demon Slayer is a good anime. I know this shit's hype, but like, it is a good anime. And um, I, I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm watching this new anime. Then um, this is basketball anime. I don't know the name of it, but I was like, um, that bitch, here it is, right here. Um, Ducks That Can Fly, I think that's the name of it. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce, pronounce it in Japanese, but, um, Hayuro no Shiro. I, I fucked that up probably, but, um, yeah, I think, I think it's called Ducks That Can Fly or Ducks. It's something. Fuck, I don't know. Wait, I'm looking at it right now. Uh,. But it's a basketball anime. Like, I love me some sport anime. It's like, Kuroku play no basketball? Brilliant anime. And the, what is it? The Zone? Boy, stop. Boy, that's a, that's some gas anime. But this basketball anime I'm watching right now, it's, it's, it's really good. It's good as hell, bro. Like, last night, I watched all 11 episodes. I mean, there's like 14 out right now. But, I mean, I could have made it to like, you know, I could have finished them all last night. But I was like, fuck. If I don't go to sleep... Like, I'm not going to want to work out tomorrow, you know? But, like, I didn't even want to want to work, work out in the morning time, but I just, ugh. I was dead, bro. I didn't feel like I ain't. I mean, I got, like, six hours of sleep, but I feel like I slept like dog shit, though, bro. But this anime right here is good. It's really good. I mean, y'all can't see it, but <laughs> it's good. It's a basketball anime. And I really enjoy it. It really is good. I'm going I'm to catch up on all the episodes today. Like, I could have catch up on all the episodes in one day, you know, because I'm a fucking anime OG out here, you know? I be slinging dick out here on anime. You can't stop me, bro. Like the first time you complete like a whole season of anime, like like most of the time a season of anime is twelve episodes, and like if you can complete that, you have earned yourself an achievement. You have leveled up, and like now it ain't shit to you, bro. Like I can probably watch like a thirty. I can probably watch like thirty episodes of anime in a day. And, like, I'm chilling, dog. I mean, I can binge watch. If the anime's good, like, especially if it's good, you can binge watch that shit all day. Like, if I never watched Demon Slayer before, I probably would have binge watched the whole season. And that bitch had 26 episodes on the first season. I probably would have binge watched that shit all over again, bro. But it's a good anime, man. It's a really good anime. But recently, I've been watching this YouTuber called, um, what's her fucking name? Uh, Angelica. Angelica, hold on. I can spell it. it's A N G. Fuck, it popped up. But Angelica, O O S O O S O S O S. Angelica O. She's a commentary or I don't know. I don't know what that. What I call her? I don't think she's like a drama channel. I don't know. I don't know. What the f bro? My toe look fucked up. But <clears throat> excuse me. I don't think she's a drum. She's like a, <clears throat> she's more of a commentary, a commentary channel. I mean, but she be talking about all kinds of shit, bro. I feel like she's probably like a Phil DeFranco, you know, a Phil DeFranco type, you know, channel type shit. Niggas just be talking about like what's going on in the industry. Not just YouTube though, but she be, she be talking about everything. Like fucking, oh, <laughs> the video, her new video I just watched. Oh, you heard that for it? Now it's me. Yes, it's tremendous. Oh, uh, damn. You know, recently I've been taking like three shits a day. Like, what the fuck is going on with that, Malcolm? Like, I'm scared now. I'm I'm terrified. You know, I think my... The pipes are just loose. All right, let me just say that. You know, I just want to share that with you because we all... You know, hey, we share things on this channel. All right? 
But um, uh, fuck uh, Angelica, Angelica Oles, Oles. I think I'm. You heard that one too. Um, Oles. I think I'm saying that right. Um, what the fuck was I about this? Oh, she's pretty. Yeah, that that's what I want to say. And um, I mean, I like her content. I mean, I just, I don't know. I, I like to hear her opinion on things because I feel like she got a head on her shoulders and shit. I mean, I think she's like eighteen or nineteen, like around my. I know she, I know she's around my age, but um. Angelica, if you're watching this, but highly fucking not. Um, I, I like you as a, a person, and I like your content, and I think you're pretty. And I'm just throwing. Hey, I'm shooting. I'm shooting my shots. 2020. Malcolm's shooting his shots. You know, there's no reason me holding that shit in. I, right? I'm, I'm shooting. I'm shooting my shots at everybody, bro. I don't give a fuck, dog. I mean, like if I like you, you know, if I like you as a person, I'm gonna shoot my shot at you. And that's all I'm gonna say. But uh, yeah, she's pretty. I know I said that a bunch. A ton, but she's pretty, and uh, I think she's almost at 500k, you know? Yeah, she's like almost at 500k. Um, please don't play a video, because I don't want her to, um, you know, fuck me over or strike my channel, but I don't think she's the type of person who do some shit like that. Uh, she's at 450k, but um, Angelica Oles. I like you. <laughs> That's all I can say. I like you. Um, and, um, what else? What else? The whole YouTube industry, man. It's funny. Let me just say that. It's, it's a, it's a funny, it's a weird space in a good and bad way. Let's say that. All right. But, uh, I'm glad to be in this industry. I mean, I guess I mean, I mean, I am because I am a YouTuber. But um, I don't want to be called an influ uh, influencer, influence or influencer. I, I, I can't speak for dog shit today. I never can speak influencer because it's like nigga, I ain't here to influence nobody. I I'm here to I'm here to sit down, have a good time with you. You know, you be the only influencer in your life. You know, you the only one control your life. I tell this every day. I mean, I, I I say this shit all the time. Like somebody can like tell you to do some. Somebody can try to motivate you, like, you know, you watch all these motivation videos, where the fuck you watch it, trying to get you up. Like, you can watch it all day, but at the end of the day, it's you that's going to get you up. You got, you got to motivate yourself to do what you want to do, you know? At the end of the day, it's you, because you're the only one who controls your body. You wake up, and his body, you're going to die in his body. You're the only one who can change your fucking mindset. All right? You can rely on other people to help you for that, you know? I mean, yeah, they can they can say a couple of things, and that shit can motivate you, all right. But at the end of the day, it's you that you gotta put it in a hundred percent by yourself. You know, that's the only way you can move forward in things, all right. But um, the YouTube scene, bro. I don't want to be called an influencer. I'm just here to entertain people. That's all. That's it. That's it. That's it. I'm just here to entertain people, have a good time, and like what I do like about YouTube is like, I mean, just like just just the whole social media. I like the communication with people. Man. I like the. Um, I, I want to connect with people. That's what I want to do. I want to connect around with people all around the world. And I want to hear their opinions and stuff. You know, even if the um, everybody's opinions varies from different ways. But that's what I really do like about, um, especially on YouTube. I want to connect with people. That that's what I want to do. But then I also want to put you know my creativeness out there. You know. Up on these videos and stuff. Uh, but speaking on my channel, the direction of my channel that y'all see right now is mainly these podcasts because I, this is what I like doing. Yeah, I, I like uploading shit like this. You know, all this stuff, all this stuff. The videos you see me uploading is me. This is me. Like the skits, that's me. Like I, I, I type those holes down. I mean, sometimes I improv and stuff. And like these podcasts, you know, I like, I just, I like the way my channel's going right now, you know? I like these long farm type of podcasts, you know? Because I'm always watching podcasts, so I was like, fuck it, let me start a podcast, you know? And I, I don't regret making this podcast. I, I love doing this shit, man. And I love the skits. I've been doing skits since, like, I started this fucking channel, man. And, like, I love them, bro. I be, I be cracking myself up, bro. Like, when I'm editing them, I just be cracking myself crack, cracking myself up. I be like, bro, what the fuck did I just make? <laughs> but I love it, man. I just... I love the content I make, I'm making. I haven't been, you know... I haven't been happier with my content that I'm making right now. I feel like I'm in a good um, flowish state right now. You know? And, like, I don't know, bro. I just, like... I don't know. 
I like being like I don't want, I don't want you know I'm gonna say I don't like being called a YouTuber. Like I don't I don't like being called a YouTuber. I mean I'm not mad at being called a YouTuber, but it's like I like I like to create. You know I want to be a creator. Like can we just say that? Uh, how does an entrepreneur or a creator sound? That sounds like dog shit. Entrepreneur just sounds fucking terrible now because people just the way that I don't know niggas just <laughs> you know it's just no one likes to be called an influencer. I mean, some, I mean for me to my point, I don't like to be called an influencer or entrepreneur. I mean I like entrepreneur more than influencer. Let me say that. But uh, a creative entrepreneur. Okay, let me just say I'm a fucking creator. Can we say that? Right, a video, a film creator. I like, I like a film creator better. That sounds way better because it is film what I'm doing right now. But yeah, the content I'm making right now, I like this. I like this, and I know that someday there's gonna be an audience that um, that likes the content that I'm making. I mean, yeah, I mean, just you know, I got. I'm talking about like a like a large scale audience, you know. But I do have people. I mean, there's people out there that like. I mean, people watch my videos. So I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm I mean, I'm guessing they like my content, but um, there's there's content out there for everybody, bro. There's content out there for a nigga that wants to watch a a fly eating fly. I mean, a a, a a frog eating flies all day. Let's say that. So um, it's crazy. There's so many YouTube channels. I find like new YouTube channels almost every day. I'm like, who is this person? This person has a million subscribers. I never heard of him. Like that's how big YouTube is. Like YouTube is so like fat, bro. It's so fat with so many creators and all these creators. YouTube just got money. It's just a circle. It's like just money. Just going around because people just be uploading videos. Like, I don't know how many hours of videos get uploaded to YouTube a day. I think it's like 100 million hours of YouTube or maybe more of watch time that gets. Not watch time, but hours that get uploaded to YouTube or some shit. But then think about it, like if they got like um, monetization and stuff. Like, you know, YouTube take their cut. And stuff it's like... YouTube, it's just a cycle, bro. It's like, there's mainstream now, bro. It's mainstream. This cable shit that you see is dead. Sorry, but it's dead. Radio, it's on its way dead. I mean, radio's already dead. Podcast is the thing, bro. But, um, I don't know why. See, people who say that YouTube is hard, I mean, isn't hard, they don't understand. They don't understand. And, like, you, you, I, you can only understand if you're a YouTuber yourself. That's the only way you can understand. Like, you can know that YouTube is hard. But, like, it's... it's People are ignorant. That's what it is. Like, you don't know, bro. All right, you upload. Nigga, you upload, bro. Upload upload every week. Try to upload every week. Upload every day, okay? Try to. We'll see. Go ahead. Bitch, go ahead. All right, nigga? So, so shut the fuck up. All right, you can talk all this shit, bro. I ain't saying this not a... It's a mental... Determined job. That's what it is. It's very mental. All right. I mean, like, well, shit. If you know, if you're a physical channel, YouTube channel, then I guess it's physical and mental. But like, it's a mental job. It really is mental, and this shit can break you down, bro. Especially if you don't see no progress in any shape or form that you want to happen, it can kill you, man. But the problem was, I was telling my friend this, and my friend's in the military. Like, he's um in selections right now. Like, I I wish him good luck, and I know he's gonna get it. Because ever since I met his ass, like, in seventh grade, he always wanted to go into the force. And he's in it right now. And he's the one who actually got me into YouTube. <laughs> I told him that the last time we were talking. I was like, Cameron, I mean, right, his name's Cameron. But I was like, hey, you a motherfucker. All right? Because you're the one who got me into this. Like, you got me into this, and now I'm stuck, and I love it. You know, I'm stuck in a good way. Like, I love it, and I don't want to do anything else. But... There's this thing that he said. He said, I will die before I quit. And that stuck with me. That really that stuck with me because I was like, I feel the same way. I will die before I quit. You know, I'm not saying I don't want to die, but like, my biggest fear in my life is, my one of my biggest fears is me being like, let's say I'm 70 and having the regrets. Let's say I quit YouTube, I never do this shit again. I work in a fucking cubicle job or whatever it is. Then I'm 70, got my retirement, but I'm I'm 70. <laughs> okay, I'm old, all right? And I re I'm like, bro, like I just think back, I'm like, man, why did you stop making those YouTube videos when you were 19, bro? I mean, I'm not saying like I could predict the future or anything, but it's like, you don't know what could have happened. You don't know what could have happened, bro. And I don't want to run on that if shit, bro. Fuck that, bro. 
I'm gonna run on this now, bro. I gotta get this, bro. I'm not saying I gotta get it now. But what I'm saying is, I gotta keep working every day, bro, and try to get to the places I wanna be at, bro. That I wanna be at, bro. You know what's the main goal? I can tell y'all right now. Y'all know what's the main fucking goal for YouTube and shit? I want YouTube to put a, a roof over my head, bro. That's the goal, bro. A roof over my head, my own place. That's the fucking goal right there, bro. Because I have, don't get me wrong, I have other stuff I want to do. YouTube is just the first, it's a stepping stone, you know? I mean, I'm still going to be doing YouTube, all right? But there's other shit I do also want to do, like, from a creative aspect, all right? There's so many things I want to do, but YouTube, I'm focusing on YouTube 100,000 fucking percent, and I love this. I've been doing this since, what was it, 8th grade, like, the end of 8th grade going to ninth, ninth grade. So I've been doing YouTube for... Let me think. <laughs> Let me think. Six? Six years? And I'm still out here. <laughs> I'm still out here, motherfucker. Alright? I'm still out here, bro. And y'all ain't I ain't going nowhere. Alright? I'm six years deep. Alright? There's this comedian who um Joe Diaz. Well, all comedians. All comedians say this, but he uh I remember him saying this. He said when I got into comedy, he's like, I already knew for the first ten years. I wasn't gonna make any money. He said that, and that shit stuck with me. But he still showed showed up every. F See that just it just I don't know I get I get motivated and I get heated up, bro. I get heated heated up in a good way. All right, in a good way. <laughs> but he said that shit, bro. And now he's one of the funniest, famous comedians on this fucking planet, bro. Joey Diaz kills me. That motherfucker can speak and I can anything, bro, and I can laugh, bro. He's so funny, bro. Oh my gosh, man. It's it's hilarious how funny he is, man. But he said for the first ten years, he said I got in the comedy, I knew for the first ten years I wasn't gonna make any money. But that's the fucking love that he had for him, bro. He wasn't worrying about the money, he was worrying about the love of him, bro. And I ain't even worrying about the, I ain't not, I'm not even worrying about the money. Everybody wants money, don't get me wrong. No shit, everybody wants money, but it's the love of the shit that keeps me going, bro. The money will follow. That's what he said. He said, if you keep doing what you love, the money will follow. The money will fucking follow, bro. And I, I just, I, I just get, I get shaken up sometimes, you know? Just, just, just hearing that, man. But I gotta keep doing this every day, bro. I gotta keep doing this every day. I'm not saying, like, I gotta upload every day, but, like, I gotta keep working towards my goal, you know? Like, you know, like, making these skits. You know, and like making these podcasts and stuff. That's why I love, bro. Man. So it's like, I want to make it, bro. Like, I truly want to make it. And I think I will make it if I keep going at this way. And I know when I say, when I say make it a sustainable income that comes in and that can support me and put a roof over my head. That's, that's the goal. And I'm not even talking about like, like at any point. I'm not really talking about like a fucking five story house or some dumb shit like that. I'm talking about like, bitch, you can give me an apartment, bro. Like, I'm chilling, man. And just help me clear some things up to my name, bro. And just help me, help, let me help my family out and stuff and some things. You know, I always want to give back to my family because my family helped raise me and stuff. And I want to give back to them, you know. I want to take care of my family for the rest of their lives, you know. And the rest of my life, okay. That's just how I feel about this whole thing, bro. But, like, after I got to talking about, like, my friend. Like, he's, like, my best friend. And, like, I was like, bro, there's light at the end of our tunnel, man. And, like, after I got to talking to him, I was like, bro, you just got me so motivated, man. Like, when I got to talking to him, I was so, bro. I was, it was, like, this burning, fiery passion in me, bro. And, like, I I had, like, this, this heat in me. <laughs> I guess I had this heat or this passion in me for a while, and I'm still going, man. I mean, yeah, there's ups and downs and stuff because there's gonna be ups and that up, ups and down in life. But for right now, I feel like I'm on the road, bro. I mean, I'm still trying to find out, figure out what I want to do. But I'm happy with the content I'm making on YouTube right now, you know. But I feel so. I don't know. I feel like I told him. I was like, I don't feel happy. Like I'm not happy. You know, I'm not the happiest person in the world right now. But I'm not sad. But then I was thinking, I was like, you know, I need to stop. Like, the world doesn't owe me shit. The world doesn't owe me a goddamn fucking thing, all right? And if you think the world owes you something, you need to you need to stop and change that mindset or you're not going to go nowhere, my guy, all right? But I was saying, bro, I was like, fuck, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> but to um to conclude all this 
I want to say is I love YouTube and I love doing this shit, man. I love doing this shit, bro. And it's like, I, I just love it. Let me just, I just love it, man. Okay. And I'm going I'm to keep saying this shit. No matter, like, I got to be patient because if I keep watering these plants, keep putting in my time, keep clocking this, I will progress. And that's the truth. All right. But um, the problem with the youth, let me say that. The problem with the youth, you know, my age and shit, like young, all right, we want it. If we don't think we're going to get it now, we won't get it ever. That's just, that's the bad mindset. And that's the mindset I have. I'm shaking it. I'm, I'm trying to shake it. You know, I got the fucking tattoo on my hand. I mean, not on my hand, but on my forearm right here. Sacrifice the present for the future. All right. And like I said, I'm struggling. I'm still going through the struggle. All right. I'm not in the position that I don't want to be yet. I'm on the upbringing, you know. I don't know when. I don't know what's gonna happen, bro. But I, I know for fucking guarantee, bro. I can't stop this stuff, man. So I have to keep going, man. And I love this, so I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> I think about twenty four seven, bro, all the time, bro. And I love it, bro. I just love it, bro. I fell in love with the game, bro. I fell in love with the game, man. And I, I feel so. I feel so blessed that I can love something like this, man. I can love something so amazing like this, and I can wake up every day just knowing that I have a goal that I'm striving for, you know? But, fuck, what was I talking about? Um, Next topic. To conclude that, I love YouTube, and I love creating. Let me say that. But, um, oh, Emma Chamberlain. <laughs> Emma Chamberlain. What's up, girl? Um... <laughs> But speaking of going back to um, Angelica, um, I'm bringing up Emma Chamberlain because she was talking about Angelica. No, she Angelica was talking about Emma Chamberlain, goddamn it. And um, she was saying that uh, Emma Chamberlain, she recently been on the cover of Cosmos, Cos, Cos, cosmetic, some shit, some shit, something like that. She was on the cover of the magazine, and um, she was saying like, uh, I found well yesterday I found out that she had a boyfriend, you know. <clears throat> Broke my heart a little bit. Uh, not gonna lie, but I'm um, happy for her and shit. But uh, <laughs> I mean, I am happy, you know. But what I'm trying to say is like YouTubers, like not 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 just not just YouTubers, like famous people. It's like I didn't know she had a boyfriend at all, you know. But it's like they can't even like they can't even put their relationship out there like that. Like I can understand why because you may think that niggas are using you and stuff. Then like you know, you don't think like. I mean, you don't know if, like, you're going you gonna to think it's awkward, like, if you put your relationship out there, the next thing you're going to break up. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> so, it's like that. Then it's like, social media. Social media, the whole thing, that's it's not good for a relationship, you know? So, I, I think, like, if I do ever get in a relationship and, like, I don't know, let's say I'm, like, doing good on YouTube and stuff. And, like, I don't know if I would want to make that relationship public also, you know? Honestly, I mean, it's like, I don't, I don't, it's not like, it's not like a, a must. I don't fucking have to tell you if I'm in a relationship or not. I can keep that shit secret until I die, nigga. Like, I mean, I mean, good luck trying to do that. But I mean, I can, you know, I never have to show like the girl on camera or anything like that. But, you know, as long as she knows I love her, you know, and I mean, that's good enough. <laughs> as long as, as long as long as she knows I love her and we love each other, then we're good. And I don't destroy anybody in my relationship, though. Like, none of that. But yeah, I can I can see what she was coming from, though, because fucking what? Emma Chamberlain's like, I don't know, ten million subscribers plus all over social media, and <laughs> niggas are crazy online. Let me say that. I can I can understand that, but. I don't know, bro. I mean, I don't, let me see. I don't know, bro. I don't know. The whole relationship thing, you know, having it public and stuff. I don't know if I would keep it secret or not, bro. But, like, I am open to keeping it secret, though. But I am open to keeping it public also. But then also, fucking relationship. Recently, um, Jeffree Star broke up with his boyfriend, um, Nate, and shit. And, <laughs> ooh, that man. I mean, he didn't monetize the breakup video, but that fucking video had, like, 26 million views in, like, two days. Like, Jesus Christ. Let me just say that. But yeah, that like that whole thing, like you gotta make a break of you. I mean you don't have to. You can just be like I mean you can just be like You don't even have to acknowledge this shit, bro. Like people will get the the idea like if they don't see the person no more, then it's like oh the niggas probably break up. 
And people gonna ask, but it doesn't last forever. Ugh. And that's how I feel about the relationship thing. But like, I was telling my buddy again, like the, the same buddy in the military. I was like, I never been in love. I mean, I said it's like on the first podcast, if I, I remember. I was like, I never, I never been in love with anybody. Like throughout school, it's been the crushes, but it's just been like petty fucking crushes because you see all these other niggas day in the school that you also want to date some niggas and shit. But it's never been like a love. It's just been like a crush. And I know I never loved anybody because I don't know what the fuck love is. I mean, I never felt that type of love, you know, from another person. Like you know, you you get like you know your friends love and your family love, but not like a relationship relationship type love. I never felt that. I mean, I'm 19. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I mean, one day it's gonna happen. I mean, hopefully, but right now, I was telling my song. Right now, I'm not even like, I'm not even focusing on the relationship right now, bro. I'm too worried about myself. Like, I don't even feel worthy of a relationship, like right now, bro. I don't even feel good about a relationship, bro. I don't think I can like, I don't think I'll be good at a relationship. I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't know, but I'm not like, I'm open to a relationship and shit, but like, I'm not focused on a relationship. I'm not like openly looking for one. You know, I'm not, I'm not out there, like, searching for a relationship and shit. But maybe, I, I, I told him this, I was like, all right, maybe when I move, like, when I move to Texas, then I'll probably start looking for relationships and shit. But right now, I'm not, I'm, I'm too focused on this shit right now. I'm too focused on myself. I'm trying to build myself up, you know. I'm trying to better myself. I'm trying to be the best person I can be. You know, that I can go to this person, I can share my happiness with them. You know, I'm going to... You gotta make yourself happy before you get in a relationship, all right? And that person has to be happy themselves. Then you can come together and share your own happiness, you know? Bro, I had a fuck, bro. I'm, I'm <laughs> somebody else called me. Y'all know those a random phone call just? I mean, a random person just called me, bro. I shouldn't have picked this shit up, bro. But why are people calling me now on this podcast? I got called twice. I mean, well, my mom, I can understand that. But like the second one, like, what the fuck was that? All right, but I was about, I was about to wrap up the podcast anyway, so <laughs> I want to at least make an outro. All right, I mean, let me. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Uh, let me think. <laughs> let me think. Uh, oh yeah, download Snapchat again. Y'all know when I was bashing on Snapchat and shit. I mean, I still don't like the app. Honestly, you know, I don't use it. It's just taking up space on my fucking phone. And uh, oh yeah, I switched um, over to Spotify. You know, you know what? The main reason I. <laughs> The main reason I switched over to Spotify was because I saw that um, the um, the year, like, you know how you get a recap of all them songs and music you listen to? Like, the main reason I, I switched over was because of that. But the thing about Apple is, they got the lyrics on it, bro. Like, they can, like, I mean, not on all songs, but certain songs. I mean, Spotify has a genius shit, but, like, I don't give a fuck about the facts. Just tell me about the lyrics on the songs, you know, like, most of the time, you know? That's what I want to hear. I mean, that's what I want to see. But Apple Music, they hit it on the nail with um just saying the lyrics and stuff. Like they don't tell you no fucking facts about it. They just say, "Oh yeah, here's the lyrics of the song." And that's what I like about it. But um, I don't know. I felt left out. <laughs> like it was trending all over Twitter for like I don't know a week or I mean not a week, but probably like a couple of days and shit. Like people like sharing their recap of the year. I was like, "Fuck!" I'm like, I wonder what I was listening to the whole year of 2019, bro. But I'm going to get a 2020, bitch. All right? You better guarantee that. Okay? But, yeah. I, I downloaded Spotify recently. And uh, my mom, she has, like, an Echo Dot, like, an Alexa shit. I was like, why the fuck do you got this? Like, I didn't even know that she had it, but she said I had it the whole time. But I don't trust those things. Just go home. That ain't it. I don't trust them. <sighs> Because after that, the whole that whole news thing came out talking about niggas be listening to you. I was like, what? I didn't go unplug that motherfucker right now. I know that whole listen to me right now. Probably got a sniper on my head right now, bro. <laughs> but um, oh yeah, dread update. Speaking of dreads, I was watching this fucking video, bro. I was watching this video when these guys were going around like a mall. I mean, I was watching a whole bunch of videos, and I was watching these videos called Wave Check. <laughs> Those videos are funny. When like when dudes take their um the do rags off and they show their waves and shit. It was like a whole contest. I mean, they had some clean as waves on it. I mean, I think I had waves as a kid, or I tried to attempt to have waves, but um, I don't know. The shit you gotta stay consistent with that, but you gotta stay consistent with this. But niggas like. <laughs> And like on that video, Waves came in first place and Dreads came in second place. It was like Waves, Dreads, and Curls. Some shit like that. Waves fucking won. 
But I mean, Drez was doing good too. But um, I was like, that make a wrong choice. I was like, hell no, bro. High top dreads, bro. Like I was talking about when I do dreads, I want I'll probably start them at my earlobe. I mean, I don't want them hanging out, you know, in my ass crack <laughs> or anything like that. But fucking people are dumb, bro. They be like, oh, cause dreads are dirty. I was like, what the fuck? They like dreads is um way is is cleaner than dreads. I was like, what? I mean, it's their opinion at the end of the day, but fuck your opinion. Yeah, dickhead. Uh, I'm sorry. All right, let me wrap up this podcast. All right, because I, I really did cover all the bases that I want to talk about today. But hopefully, you guys, enjoy this podcast. Podcast taboo podcast number seven. We out here done the you are in. I hope it's seven. I hope I'm not wrong. But thank you for letting me take some time out of your day. You beautiful fucking people. All right, and I'll catch you in the next podcast. Peace out. Let me figure out a way to um, combine all these fucking videos because these motherfuckers want to call me. But I'll catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace out.